Gee, I wonder which which garbage cans are the right ones. Wonton! Wonton! I hear you being naughty. Do you want a trip to Wontanamo Bay? Oh, goodbye. I'll be right back. Is he going to Wontanamo Bay? It's possible. For, uh... <laughs> oh, was he already in there? No, he just ran in there when he saw me coming. He was like, oh no! Dad's gonna be punishing me! I'm gonna hide in the place where Dad's going to block me. He gets uh, he gets timeouts when he's being particularly naughty in the uh, storage room where his litter box is. Yep. Hello. Hiyo. I have returned from Guantanamo Bay. It's a red trash can. Oh, right, those aren't the right ones. Those are just there to... Throw you off? I, I guess. Hashtag snuggle jail. No, not not this time. Oh, hey, Most, gentlemen. Mostly because I don't think I would be able to actually grab him. So tomorrow, for the first time in, like, two weeks, Nick has to go to work and I do not. And I don't entirely know what I'm going to do while he's there. Uh, I'm assume I'm imagining, like, the usual read. Watch Netflix. Play Animal Crossing. Yeah. Or maybe Pokemon. Maybe I'll play Cat Quest. Maybe, yeah. No, actually, no, that... we, we all participated in Snuggle Jail. I think Jordan coined it. Probably. Hey! Power friendship! You're gonna watch the Goose Game video. You're right, I am. Maybe I'll just listen to the Hamilton soundtrack on repeat. Alexander Hamilton. Had a torrid affair. And he wrote it down right there! Highlights! He's never going to be president now. Never going to be president now. It was, in fact, Jordan's thing. Wonton now loves being snuggled. By Nick, even. Sometimes he's in the mood for it. Oh. How long am I going to be stuck on this random puzzle? Snuggling an un uninterested cat is in fact dangerous on occasion. I get uh, jabbed in the jugular occasionally. Often. You know it's going to be difficult? What's that? Going to sleep before three in the morning. <laughs> uh, yeah. Why did I did... horn attack? Why didn't I double kick? Did you horn attack? I thought you went for toxic. Which would work even less than uh, than horn attack. A horn attack. Okay. Whoopa! Whoopa! Bam. Oh, come on. Don't paralyze me! Immediately paralyzes me. Surprisingly, that did not happen. Peck. Peck. Oh. Excuse me, apparently, I want to yawn. George leveled up. Only another 15 levels until we can evolve him. Only. Alright, is it that one? No. no. Who were we watching that was doing this puzzle and was like just 
so bad at it. Uh, it was probably Frank and or Ryan. It's a blue trash can! Do a Pokemon playthrough but use only the weakest type in the gyms. That sounds like a terrible idea. I'm going to point you out to a YouTuber called Mudrybred. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, he does challenges once a week or so of, of like, can I beat this game using only this type of Pokemon? Like, only egg Pokemon. Or can I beat the game using only this one Pokemon throughout the entire thing? Yeah, it's usually like, can I beat... Can I beat it using, like, one Beedoo for one Execute or one Pikachu or something? It's it's just usually a single Pokemon challenge, which or... <laughs> happens to be, like, this, the base form. And uh, sometimes it's, can I beat the Pokemon game without learning any new moves? Like, it's always a challenge that I wouldn't want to do. <laughs> yeah, and to add even more challenge to it, he... He always does it, like, without using items in battle. No, uh, it's not a stream. It's on YouTube. But if you ever want to watch a challenge video, that's, yeah, that's always entertaining. Watching him stream that would be, like, the most tedious. Yeah, no, he, he always uh, does a sped-up version. Like, he, he never shows the entire thing, like, as he does it. Yeah, watch... It's usually a 20 to 30 minute video. Yeah, watching the, the super edited version on YouTube is usually pretty entertaining. Same thing, although not really. <laughs> it can be. <sighs> right. Oh, that's good to know. I actually didn't know that. I don't think I've ever talked to them after... Oh, Gideon's having a grand old time. Lil Gideon? Lil Gideon. Oh, apparently well, it was just in the same one. I guess go up. Yeah. Hey! Do we need to heal? Nah, we should try. Probably not. Should I switch Gideon out? With, uh, Dr. Evil? Also, we named Vulpix after Ashlyn. Does that mean she's a movie villain? I'm... I'm sure some movie has a, has a villain named Ashlyn. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Let's Google it! Gavin or Google? Google or Gavin? Which one said it? Let's find out. Hey! Blowtorb. Blowtorb. Double kick. Kite says lightning bolt. Your Slytherin, does that count? Not all Slytherins are bad. Hashtag not Hashtag all Slytherins. not all Slytherins. Ow! How dare you electric my plant? No. Not electric. That type that plants resist. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna heal it or not. He did not. Thunderbolt. Ow! Ooh. Not my whatever George is. Not ground yet. Poison. Oh, I know. I just it's, don't know what animal it is. It's like some sort of weird dinosaur thing, except I I think it's also like supposed to be based on a rabbit. Weird dinosaur rabbit? I don't know. Most Slytherins are forced into the bad. And then she says sneak. Snake! Oh, Ash, uh, Nick is disappointed that you didn't name Dracula slash Schrodinger's bat after the Holy Musical Batman. 
Yeah, Bruce Man. I mean, Bat Wayne. I mean, fuck! Why'd you sleep powder it? Is that intentional? Yes. Okay. I just felt like neither of my attacks would have killed it. Probably not. So I was like, hey, why not just prevent it from doing things in a different way? Oh, it might be a jackalope. Maybe? Let me, uh, let's consult Bulbapedia. It's a bunny with Need... Yes, I, I know. Nidorino. Also, we have one episode of Jeopardy left on Netflix to watch, and then we have to wait until they switch out the uh, collections again. And I'm quite disappointed. What will we do with ourselves? Not watch Jeopardy, apparently. Disappointing. Hmm. Disappointed! Aerodactyl! That too. Skipped straight to fuck when you saw him the first time. That's... Oh no, not George! Also, I think the word you were looking for is flu. Yes. Nidorino appears to be based on a rhinoceros, porcupine, rabbit, mouse, or even a hamster, as seen by their aggressive and independent nature. Okay. But not a dinosaur, apparently. I don't know. Oh, did I miss? I don't know. He took me out. Should I kick it or should I swift it? Uh, probably swift. Ah. Or maybe bite it. Hope for a flinch. Well, but here we are. Maybe next time if I don't, uh, if I miss again. Swift. Can it count to 55? <laughs> Hopefully it won't take 55 turns to to take it out. Yeah, that that sounds like a pretty terrifying that related experience. I don't know if there are any terrifying or any non-terrifying bat related experiences, but uh, I certainly haven't had one. Yay! You did a good. Did I? Uh, we did a good? Yeah, we did. Yeah. It's always weird when games have sleeping targets not wake up after getting attacked. I mean, Pokemon hasn't exactly been consistent ever with, uh, like, m mobility, I guess would be the right word. Like how things that are asleep can still break out of Pokeballs, and things that are paralyzed can still break out of Pokeballs. And you can't just toss a Pokeball at a fainted Pokemon. Yep. God forbid. Oh. And we got an autograph. Did we ever figure out what to do with the autograph? Or is I... it just there? I think some NPC somewhere comments on it. I know the guy in, uh, in the... At the Pokemon League gate, who uh, you get, who you show the Thunder Badge to, comments on it. Yeah, or frozen in a block of ice. Frozen in a block of ice can still break out of a Pokeball. Makes perfect sense. Get out of my way, Sailor Man. Not Sailor Moon? No. Heck. He is the one called Sailor Man. Look at 
Okay, bye. Hey, Misty. What's up? Good to see you again. I forgot we saw you again. Oh, thanks. Why? I, I the don't Pokemon know. Center is like right there. It's right there. I've already been. It's right over here. It's like 50 feet to the east. It's fine. We can make it there on our own. Avoids diglets. Avoids all the diglets. Diglet dig, diglet dig. Trio, trio, trio. Required by law. Speaking of trio, trio, trios. Oh. Oh, hold. No, keep keep going. I just want to pause next time we see a dig litter dug trio. Okay. Whack-a-mole? Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> normally... No, normally, uh... When I, uh, when I run over something, they just hop upwards in fright. But, uh, because we... Ne we're never allowed to see the the lower body of Diglett or Doug Trio. They just go into the ground. Hello, Oaks Aid. Nerdette! Remember me? He's weird. Don't trust him. Poor Oaks Aid. Don't even warn the child in the corner. Hiya! And we're blind. How how did he do it? Like, did he just have a flashlight on him, or? I have no idea. We don't ask questions, Nicholas. Also, just how does Evie do it? You broke the rule, Nicholas. Not bad. Sensuous or <clears throat> oundings. You're so classy. That's me. I'm the classiest of ladies. I should probably let the cat out soon. I suppose. I know where Rock Tunnel is. Well, the small child doesn't know if you know where Rock Tunnel is. He didn't even let me answer. He just said, like, oh yeah, it's over there. Well, nope, stick. When did you get here? No, that's fine. We've we've got a route two to explore. The small child just told me where it was. And now a less small child is telling you where it is. What? -a! Yep. Uh, no, we we can't. Our Eevee can, though. He's the she is the cool one here. In this partnership. Yeah, Eevee's the coolest. The coolest Eevee, Leaf Stone. Forgot that was there. In our last game, we used it on our Victory Bell, or to, on our Weeping Bell to become a Victory Bell. Yeah. Plenty Bois. Evie, is there anything here? No. No. Thanks, Nick. So, does imaginary friend have a name, or is he just your support trainer? I think it's just that. I see. Such a such a wonderful name. You're my emotional support trainer. <laughs> D Aww? Sure. Question mark?
Why can't I run into the cave? Because no. No? Okay, so I th think. You think? I think what I would like to do is get through a rock tunnel. Then we'll see A, what time it is, and B, how, how we're doing. We already have a Diglett and a Doug Trio. Doug Trio lit dig, Doug Trio lit dig. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. Obviously, you are Kaiba because you screw the rules. But we don't have money, though. Nor do we have green hair currently. Kaiba doesn't have green hair. He does in season zero. What? Yep. It's a thing. What's season zero? Tell me more. It's season zero. You're not very helpful in the explanations. Uh, it's like... I, I want to say like a section of the manga that was only ever animated in uh, in Japan. Okay. She looks sad. <laughs> and she didn't walk away like Nope Stick did. Why did Nope Stick have to walk away? He could have warped us to the place we needed to go. Oh yeah, I didn't fight her going in. Oh, right. But yeah, here's here's green hair Kaiba. Did they give him regular hair because they didn't want people to think he was the protagonist? <laughs> uh, maybe? Charmander. I'm gonna kick this Charmander. Oh, yes, I have to do things. My apologies. So Zubat does, in fact, appear in Diglett's cave. But? At 10%. Oh, it's not even that bad. Which is, it's still more common than Doug Trio. And Doug Trio is literally the first thing I ran into there. Exactly. It nice. also has Chansey as a rare spawn. Also, Ash says, Cha Cha! Hmm. Quite. Charming to beat them? I have Satisfied stuck in my head. I feel like that's more common than it not being stuck in your head at this point. Yeah. It's either satisfied or something else from the from the Hamilton soundtrack. I mean, the other day I had um, say no to this message man stuck in my head for a while after we were done listening to Blurry Face. We didn't even get to Message Man though. I know, but like, I heard the album and I was just like. I like Message Man. Don't logic. Okay. 